break. We'll be right back. We'll play some more music for you. Thank you. One of music's true originals, Hermeto Pascual in London to celebrate his 75th birthday and doing it in style with two bands, uh, an 18-piece uh, big band put together especially for him from some of the finest musicians in, in the UK, included in that group in the saxophone section were Chris Bisco and Julian Siegel uh, on trumpets, Henry Lowther, Mark Mondesi on drums and Michael Mondesi on bass, Stuart Hall on guitar, Ivo Neem at the piano and uh, the whole thing... Uh, conducted by uh, Hermeto's longtime collaborator, Jovino Santos Neto. Um, all of the details of that band are up on the Jazz on 3 website. I should mention also he was playing with his septets, which uh, featured Aline Morena on vocals and guitar, amongst others. As I say, all of the band members up on the Jazz on 3 website, bbc.co.uk slash radio 3 slash jazz on 3. And we'll be back uh, for more from the stage of the Barbican in around about five minutes' time. But uh, first, just before the show, I met up with Hermeto Pascual and the conductor, Jovino Santos Neto, uh, to find out more about how they make music. And, um, well, it turned out to be quite a meeting. So I'm backstage at the Barbican now with Jovino de Santos Neto, who has been working for many years with uh, Emeto Pascual. And I'm delighted to say that Emeto is here as well. Emeto, welcome to London again. É, muito obrigado. Fico muito feliz. And Emeto, you're f- famous for being someone who will find music in, in anything, in any surrounding, in any object. Today I was looking at you on the internet playing a, bit, a beer bottle, your beard playing a dent, even a dentist drill. And I was just talking to um, Julian Siegel, one of the saxophone players, and he said that he was excited when he had the call to play with the band because he knew he would get to use his coconuts again because you, because you had um, given every musician a set of coconuts and they're gonna, I think they're going to be playing them tonight and also maybe some, some, some toys. É justamente é, é, porque uh, a música... Uh, well, he said that if, if, if he himself would be a minister or a priest, he would walk into the church smiling. Because that, for him, the, the most serious things have also to be the most humorous things. So he really likes the idea of having bringing out this beautiful dance harmony and alternating that with something that in a way makes people smile. And he says that there's not a person with a bigger sense of humor than God in the entire universe, because God gives you this ability to, to be serious and to laugh. He says every time you become too formal, too academic and make things too serious, you're losing out on what the really the universe is about, side and the funny thing that both smile or think like they're children again, because that's one of the, the ideas behind it. Uh, and Ameto, talking to the, the, the band, they said that uh, they, there is no set list, although they've been rehearsing the music, but there's, just explain to us the way that it will work between your, your, your own Brazilian band, which I think is an eight piece, and, and, and the British big band. É, justamente aquilo que eu falei antes da da gente fazer a coisa séria e brincar. This is like a big gathering, a big get together and it ties up with what he talked about before about the seriousness and the humor being mixed together. So, it's very serious in the fact that we prepare ourselves very well with a lot of rehearsal and you know, choosing the best musicians and looking at these arrangements setting up everything, but then we leave, we leave everything loose so that we can change. Even today, just you know, for the last song we were just playing on stage a little while ago, he just made the call right there. He made the executive decision that what we're going to do having the band and then the group, now we just mix them together. And we could still mix it again further during the concert. So just to be ready for that, I said it's not everywhere because some conductors, some musical directors, they, they want to know, they want the control part of it. They want to control everything. Here we prepare so we can let go of the control, but all the musicians need to be flexible and versatile enough that you can play, reading your part absolutely correctly, and then Hermeto steps in and starts giving cues with his hand and you follow his cues without looking at your part. So that level of versatility, the level of like openness, is what we're looking for, and that's what makes us so excited to play this concert. Well, a gente tem tanta coisa, meu filho, para fazer <laughs> que você, você vai ter uma surpresa agora, vocês dois. You guys will have a surprise que right vir, now. Eu, eu vou chamar a Lina aqui para a Lina vir para a gente fazer um som. So we're gonna make, a, we're gonna play it for you right now. And she'll start, and we'll just follow. This is unrehearsed. We'll just play for you right now. And this is the kind of stuff that could happen on stage anytime. Chega. Tá bom, Castanho, bonito e baixeiro. 
Gala fi ligeiro, macio e parceiro. Até na corrida é sempre o primeiro. Até na corrida é sempre o primeiro. Cada um é sonho bonito e macio. Gala fi ligeiro, macio e parceiro. Até na corrida é sempre o primeiro. Até na corrida é sempre o primeiro. Vamos galopar, vamos galopar, todo mundo galope até chegar lá. Vamos galopar. Ah, é, isso, é isso que eu digo, é isso que eu digo. Para nós não existe atenção. Well, let's just say that that was Aline Morena, Jovino de Santos Neto, and Ameto Pasquale in a spontaneous, thank beautiful you. moment there. Jovino, uh, Ameto, thank you so much for thank coming you. to London. Thank We're you. really looking forward to Agora the show tonight. Diga aí que eu vou rasgar minha camisa. Ameto is going to rip his shirt just for you. Diga que eu vou. Yeah, he's going to rip his shirt. Tá você falar, Hermeto vai rasgar sua camisa. You can say it yourself. Hermeto is going to rip his shirt. Hermeto is now ripping his shirt for us. Agora, diga uma coisa. Você, você imaginava que a entrevista terminada assim? Have you ever, ever done an interview with the hands with a interviewee? Ripping his shirt off. I'm glad you feel like that. That's our music. That's our concert. Uh, Thank you. Hermeto Pascual talking to me backstage at the Barbican with uh, his musical arranger, Jovino Santos Neto. And I have to tell you, that, that interview actually ended with Hermeto slapping me on the head. Um, I am the original slaphead. I'm a bald man and he managed to even extract music um, from my forehead. Uh, so um, I don't think I'd like anybody else slapping me around the head, but as it was Hermeto Pascual, I'll forgive him. Right, let's go back now for the second half of this special 75th birthday concert with Hermeto playing with a special UK big band and his own Brazilian septet. <laughs> 